What's up guys, how's it going? My name's Ollie, welcome back to a brand new video. Um, in today's video I've got a story time for you and what you are watching currently while I'm doing voiceover is a 74 kill game of Hardpoint on Rust, uh, the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Anyway, like I said, story time for you guys today. So before we start, before I start telling the story, make sure you smash the like button if you guys enjoy this video and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Let's get into it. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm a disability support worker. That is my job title. Um, but this doesn't really have to do with the person I work with. It has to do with someone else that does the same job as me. Uh, for no better term, we're going to call this guy Jared because I don't can't think of another name and I don't want to give out his real name uh, in case he doesn't it finds his video and does not like it, even though I know that someone's probably going to show him it. Don't care. All right, Jared. Now... Upon meeting Jared, it's not his real name, like I said. Upon meeting him, thought he was a pretty cool guy, pretty nice guy. Met him, and I met his girlfriend a little while later. We went to see some Christmas lights with me, the client I work with, my girlfriend, and his girlfriend. Anyway, she didn't really say anything at all. I didn't really think too much of her. I thought she was all right, you know. Nothing too crazy, he didn't really say anything to her, she didn't really say anything to me. No harm done. Fast forward about a year later, this is where this story really plays. Oh, quick side note. We were in Melbourne, which is about an hour flight from where I currently live in Adelaide. My partner, my client, and myself, and, this, and Jared all went on a trip. Now my partner didn't have a place to live at the time, so my client said that she could come with us. Keep on, Jared's girlfriend, not invited. She's a flight attendant. She took time off work to come see him. And literally, no one wanted her there. Now, when I say no one, like my client, me, my partner, the only person who wanted her there was Jared. She took time off work. Anyway, now, let's talk about where this takes place. This takes place all of about two to three months ago. <clears throat> so, late 2023. I'm driving with my client. Um, I'm not going to give out his real name. We'll just call him Joseph. All right, now Joseph and I were driving around trying to find something to do. And he looks at me and he says, Ollie. And I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, I'm going to tell you something about Jared. I was like, all right, what's up? He's like, now keep in mind, me and my girlfriend have been dating for nearly two years now. Uh, this was about the 18 month mark, around about that point, give or take. Um, and he says, I'm going to tell you something about Jared. I was like, alright, what is it? He's like, Jared thinks you have a crush on his girlfriend. I'm like, what the fuck? Why the hell would he think that? Keep in mind, up until this point, I'd never talked to her in person. I never messaged her on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Messenger, TikTok, nothing. Never messaged her on anything. Didn't even give a crap about what she did. All I knew about her was she was your basic white girl who was a flight attendant for... I'm not going to say the airline because it's not really relevant. But yeah, basically, that's all I knew about this girl. I knew what she looked like. You know, basic white girl. I'm not into basic white girls. Nothing against it if you're a basic white girl. You do you. I'm sure you're a great person. I just wasn't interested in her. I didn't find her particularly attractive. I'm not going to say why because I'm not here to body shame people for how they look. It's more so personality over looks in my case. For me, at least. Some people are different. Anyway. I just didn't find her particularly physically attractive or personality attractive because she never talked to me. So it's like, well, why would I like her? Also, keep in mind, Jared flirted with my girlfriend right in front of me in an elevator while we're in uh, Melbourne, which made no sense to me. Like, that's my girlfriend, not yours. So back up there, champ. Anyway, back to, back to the main part. He tells me this and I'm like, what the fuck? Why the hell would I like her? I don't need to give her a name because it's mainly about Jared and not about this chick. I was like, why the fuck would I like her? Anyway, I proceed to go home that night and talk to my partner about this. I'm like, you know that uh, Joseph just told me that Jared likes my girlfriend. Uh, that Joseph told me that apparently I like Jared's girlfriend. She's like, what the fuck? Why would you like her? My girlfriend's a little bit more, I guess you could say, she doesn't really care what she says to me about other people, because she knows I'm not going to go tell people. 
but yeah, she has a little bit of no filter when it comes to shit like that. She hates this chick uh, for numerous reasons. I'm not going to explain in this video because it's not my business. Anyway, I proceed. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to message Jared. She's like, do it. I was like, all right, I will. So anyway, I messaged him really politely. Didn't call him a dickhead. Didn't call him anything like that. I literally just said, hey, Joseph, the guy I work for, said that you think I have a crush on your girlfriend. Please explain. Like, why do you think I like her? Why, why are you thinking like this? Like, why? What makes you think I like her? Like, nothing about her is appealing to me. I, I guess she's appealing to you. Good on you. You guys are happy. Good for you. I don't care. It's not my business. Like, I don't want your girlfriend. No reply. I'm like, dude, come on. Just give me a reason as to why you think I like her. And we can be done with this conversation. No reply. Alright, I'll leave it at that. I go back to work the next day and I tell uh, <laughs> Joseph about this situation. I was like, yeah, I message him, no reply. He's like, yeah, he said that you called him a pussy. Keep in mind, this man is a actual fucking... Like, he's a, he's a, he's a straight up pussy. He's a vagina, for no better term. He's a little bitch. Get this. I work second half of Thursday, so from about 1 o'clock till about 7-ish. He works from 8.45 till 1. It was meant to be 2.30, but it's now 1. He now leaves at 12 o'clock because he's scared to see me. For those of you who don't know as well, I do uh, Muay Thai. Muay Thai is a form of martial arts. You can Google it. Similar to UFC, you just can't. There's just a few differences that I'm not going to bother explaining because we could be here for a while. Just Google Muay Thai fights. You'll see I don't fight, but I do train. He challenged me. No lie, this man does not go to the gym. He does not do any form of martial art training. Yeah, he doesn't do any of that. And he challenged me to fight. He challenged me to fight him Muay Thai style. I'm like, dude, that is like the worst choice you can make. I will. Yeah, anyway, I just said that I would destroy him in Muay Thai and that that wouldn't go well for him. Anyway, I went back home. This is like the same day. I messaged him during the day when I said this because he challenged me. Oh, but didn't answer the questions I'd already sent him. Funny, funny that is. Um, I then went and proceeded to message his girlfriend. I said, hey, do you know that Joseph thinks I like you? Like, do you know where he's getting that idea from? I now have a general idea where he's getting that from. I'll tell you that about that in just a second. So yeah, and of course, she probably told him this. And he's like, oh yeah, don't reply. Why? Just give me the solid answer, dude. Like, what do I have to gain? Like, I just want to know why you think I like her, okay? I don't find her appealing. You're all good, man, just chill. Oh, this guy's such a fucking idiot. Anyway, my theory behind why he thinks I like her is because he's cheated on her, and he's like, hmm, how can I cover my ass and make myself look better? Oh, you know what, Ollie likes you. Bruh, I thought we were cool, man. Like, why, why you gotta throw me under the bus like that? Like, guy's just dumb man I, I, there's no other way to put it other than he's just dumb so yeah um he i have been told by my client joseph that jared does want to talk to me now this happened like two to three months ago and i said look i am more than willing to talk to him and try and sort this bullshit out but at this point i don't know if i can be bothered you know i can talk about this story because I don't name drop anyone. Now I know some people, probably my client and Jared, are probably gonna get mad that I told this story, but I can tell this story because I don't name drop anyone. I don't name any places that this happened. So yeah, Jared, if you see this, suck a big old fat dick. You're a little bitch. Um, I don't like your girlfriend. I don't find her appealing. She has nothing I want. I have my own girlfriend that I've been with for nearly two years now. Uh, May this year, it'll be two years since we've been together. So, yeah. I mean, not, that's not a flex, it's just saying, like, if you've been with someone for two years, why would I want to cheat on her? Why would I want your girlfriend? I don't want your girlfriend. So, yeah. That's pretty much the end of this story, guys. Um, moral of the story is, 
don't accuse people of liking someone when you clearly know they don't. Also, just be honest, if you cheated on her, which I can understand why you would, I don't, she's, she's nothing too special, um, just be upfront with them, hey, I cheated on you, I think we should break up, or just break up with them, you know? If you don't tell them, just say, hey, I think we need to break up. Anyway, that's, I guess you could say, the moral of the story. I'm also going to try and start doing these story times more often. I have a lot of stories in my head and on a spreadsheet. And I'm going to start doing uh, gameplays that are pre-recorded and then voiceovers. That way I can focus on the voiceover as opposed to the game. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button in the face. Subscribe if you guys have a summary. As always, bye. Peace.